Hey guys, it's Jason with JW Classic VW again, and I wanted to take a second to go over that shimming on your rocker arms. I was telling you about how sometimes if you have uh, improper alignment on your valve stems, whether you're doing a stock application and or <clears throat> the uh, beefed up version like mine, the one to fours with the uh, lash caps, there is a way to take out the the space there or realign your your rocker arm so that it is centered on that valve stem. And I wanted to take a second and show you that I found my CB Performance CB Performance uh, shims. And we're gonna take a look and see exactly where I am right now and what kind of uh, adjustment needs to be made. For me, it's just uh, there's a little bit too much uh, play in my rocker arms and let me show you what that's all about. Okay, so we're looking at the rock arm assembly itself. This is, like I told you before, these are the MP1 to 4 rock, uh, ratio rocker arms. I will link them in the description if you guys are interested in taking a look at those. But here is the play that I was talking about. It's not very much, but I'm going to go ahead and it's where I want to go is this way. I want to go more to the right to get centered up on this. Let me bring you guys in a little bit closer so maybe you can see what I'm talking about. This, this play right here. That's too much, and that's going to cause premature wear on your rocker itself. If you look at, uh, let's say, for instance, the opposite side right here, that's fine. That's just a little bit. What happens is, is the oil fills in these areas here. That little bit of gap is more of a cushion with the oil. But right here, you don't have that. This, this is, see, and I already loosened this side up over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift off the rocker arm assembly, and I'm going to measure this. And figure out where I am. Let's go ahead and move over to the bench and I'll have the rocker arm off over there and we'll take a look. Okay guys, what we have here is an exploded view. I've taken apart my, my rocker shaft so you guys can see what's going on here. The um, First off, the shims that I have, the ones that I got from CB Performance, these are really old that I've had them for a while and I didn't realize that these shims are actually made for a uh, stock, stock application for shimming up maybe a upgraded rocker shaft assembly like i bought these upgraded shafts a while ago for my 40 horsepower power engine and um you can see that it's all you do is you reuse your stock setup except you get rid of the wavy washers and you're allowed to actually get a better adjustment let me, let me zoom you in for a second so you guys can see a little better so you just in the kit you get the a shaft and then you get a like an assortment of washers that comes with it with this shaft so you get an upgraded shaft so that you can do a solid setup and that that what that is is just solid means that you don't have the wavy washers at the end anymore what you have is you can put the screw it comes with this little screw and you screw in the end and then you put your your assembly back together on the solid the solid shaft and well that comes into play is when you start to bump up your 40 horse to uh you know <laughs> a little bit more horsepower with a, a big bore kit you're going to want to go ahead and upgrade your rocker shafts but what i found is what i was trying to tell you guys and just found out is with the uh when you upgrade to the one to four the actual size the diameter changes as well so these the ones that I have they won't fit on here unless I do some uh, some finagling which is what I'm probably gonna do I'm gonna take this and open it up a little bit with my Dremel and then uh, then I should be good to go so a little bit of work to do to adjust what I have right now and what I need to which one I need to do is this one right here I need to increase the size just a little bit so what I'll end up doing is probably adding a washer since I don't think I have one that's thick enough to to do what I need to do so this one is just a little too thin so we'll probably just do two and we'll be good to go
Now I'm gonna also take some sandpaper, some like 400, 500 grit, and uh, run it over that with some oil before I put it on here because it's got some burrs on it now. All right, guys, we're good. She's she's fitting now. Yeah. I'm hoping it's the right size to do what I wanted to do. But first off, this is uh, 500 grit, a little bit of oil. And I'm just gonna run around and deburr it some. Do the outside, and then we will roll it. deeper the inside and this will also true up the, uh, the shim itself you know where it might not be perfect Let's run this around a few times and it should true it up Also, if you're looking to resize your uh, wife's ring, <laughs> this will work. <laughs> no, don't do that, guys. Really. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm going to go clean it off a little bit with some brake cleaner. Should be good to go. Okay, let's put her back together and see what she says. Huh? So first off, our two shims on the inside, and I'm going to take the... I'm going to take the new shim, I'm going to put that inside towards the center shaft, just like a so. Rock her on. Back on. Good. Next shim. Spacer, shim, and rocker, shim, and end cap. All right. These are also the uh, solid aluminum spacer, as I was telling you guys about that I made. To space these bad boys off. All right, I'm gonna put it back on the uh, the engine and see what it looks like. Let's see if it feels different. I can tell you right now, it definitely feels different to me. First to go on is the shims, of course. Rocker assembly. play with it sometimes to find that freaking shaft location there it is lined up Yeah, man. No play, yet it still moves. So there we go. And that's what I'm talking about. I'm moving that play. Good. All right, guys. That's it for tonight. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is just going to be a short video for you to enjoy. I'm going to be uh, calling that a night. B -b 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 Bye. Oops. Oh, <laughs> oh,